Hi followers of my channel, my name is Marina. I'm talking to you from Argentina, South America, and today I will review um, a perfume that uh, was launched in the 2020, uh, and uh, it's called Crisca Alegría or Crisca Delirio. Uh, it has different names according to the uh, countries where it is sold. Uh, but uh, in Argentina, uh, it is called Crisca Alegría. This perfume, which bottle is very nice, you know, it's dark red here and dark red here, it's really delicious and something very strange happened to me because I was, I was trying it for the first time today and I applied it on my skin and half an hour later I went to the gas station and after <laughs> I, I charged uh, gas on, in my car, uh, the young boy who was receiving the money uh, told me, oh lady, you have an, a delicious perfume. And I was very surprised, I told him, thank you, of course, uh, but uh, I was very surprised because I had uh, never thought that the projection of this perfume was too heavy, too important. He was outside the car, you know, two meters from me, and he told me that it was a delicious perfume, the perfume I was using. Uh, when this perfume appears, um, I, it reminds me of Paco Rabanne, or Pure XS by Paco Rabanne, but it's, it only happens to me when it appears. Then, uh, when it dries on my skin, I find this perfume exactly like this one, which is Boom Candyland by Jan Artes. This is supposed to be the cheaper option for Bon Bon by Victor and Rolf. But if I have to compare this one with Victor and Rolf, I have to tell you that uh, the comparison is not possible because Bon Bon is a very heavy perfume with a heavy projection and uh, I would not dare to say that this is equal to Bon Bon. This is very similar to Boom Candyland by Jan Artes. A, another option, but I think this is uh, a little more expensive than this one. I really don't know the exact price nowadays, but these two options are very similar. In this one, I, I smell when it dries and when it appears, uh, some notes of alcohol. I don't like it too much. As you can see, uh, I, I don't use it, you know, can you see? But this one, a floral fruit album man, uh, which gains compliments, as I could see a few minutes ago. It's a woody amber, delicious, uh, warm and spicy perfume uh, with some citric notes and uh, totally nutty, uh, powdery, uh, white floral, uh, sweet but not invasive, uh, balsamic, and uh, very sensual, as I could, as I could see. And it's sweet but not shocking, you know? Uh, talking about the notes of this perfume, uh, in its top notes, and I will read them because they are a lot, it has lemon zest, it has uh, watermel watermelon cardamom, which is a species that gives a very special touch to this perfume. It has uh, CO2 extracts, uh, which will make it also more ozonic, and it has grapefruit. All of these notes are uh, just in the in the appear uh, when it appears uh, in the top notes. In its middle notes, it has popcorn, it has uh, orange, uh, pardon, almond blossom, and also orange blossom, and it has freesias, muguets, and uh, in its base, it has uh, chestnuts, amber, has uh, sandalwood. Cashmere wood, cedar, and vetiver. Um, this uh, perfume is described by Natura as um, as a combination of uh, popcorn with caramel, uh, vanilla, and kumaru. And uh, to my surprise, the kumaru is my loved tonka bean. Imagine why this perfume lasts on my skin because it has tonka bean tonka bean with uh, vanilla 
uh, which is uh, an explosive uh, closing for this perfume, uh, which is really delicious. This, this cream, creamy notes of the vanilla with, uh, with the tonka bean um, makes, uh, make this perfume uh, a sweet oriental uh, perfume with the cardamom, you know? Um, it's uh, del really delicious. Um, it says that uh, it is uh, not the the more the most intense because in the line of Crisca perfumes we can we can put them uh, from the less intense to the most intense. We have the first one would be the Crisca Shock, then we will put uh, the the Crisca Classic Crisca, then. Uh, it, we would put this one called Alegria or Delirio and then as the most intense uh, we would put the Criscal Drama which is a perfume I have and I will review uh, later. Today I am uh, reviewing this because a subscriber asked me uh, the opinion I had about this perfume and I decided to uh, talk to uh, all of you about it because it deserves a review. Uh, as I told you, you can feel the cedar and the sandal. It has a woody touch, but not a very strong woody touch. It is sweet, but not very sweet, not invasive. And it is spicy, but warm is spicy. It's, uh, it can be used in any season, but it would be better for uh, winter or autumn or fresh summer nights. But today, uh, here in the place where I live, it was very hot. 31 degrees Celsius, imagine, and I used it and I gained compliments from the gas station employee, imagine. So, highly recommendable women for all ages, for all seasons. If today was very hot and everybody smelled this perfume, it's because it is delicious and because it's fixed on my skin with only three sprays, no more than that. I put it here, here, and here, and <laughs> And I forgot to put it here, you know, only three places, three sprays, and I gained compliments. So I think it is a very good option, and I always love Avatonka, you know, with vanilla. These are the, the notes that make uh, perfumes unique. I love them, and I love the way uh, they fix on my skin. Uh, I think that the Avatonka or the Kumaru is the secret because uh, it is really delicious. It smells delicious and everybody can smell it, its projection is important. And it is a long lasting perfume. If I compare this Crisca with other Criscas, this lasts on my skin a lot of hours. And when I say a lot of hours, I say six hours because it's a lot for me. Uh, talking about Natura perfume. Delicious, uh, highly recommendable for all ages, as I told you. And um, it's not very expensive. Um, and it's a very nice perfume to carry with you. For a, for a special occasion or for any occasion, you know, today I had to try it, so I applied it on my skin to go downtown, 20 blocks from my house, not very far away. But uh, when it dries, it's very similar to Boom Candeline, and when it appears, it's very similar to Pure Black, to, pardon, pardon, to Pure XS by Paco Rabanne. Uh, only when it appears, eh? Be careful. Uh, don't don't buy it thinking that you are buying pure excess because this is not pure excess. This is like Bon Bon by Candyland by Jan Ortiz. I repeat, not like Bon Bon. Bon Bon is a lot stronger, a lot heavier, a lot um, different from this perfume. And I would never compare this perfume with Bon Bon by Victor and Rolf because Bon Bon is a uh, a lot superior than this one. It's a different perfume, you know, with a different idea. So I hope you have enjoyed this review and you give me a hand up. Uh, and if you have have, uh, have not subscribed to my channel, do it please, because we are giving away a bottle of Quarante perfume when we get the 1,500 uh, subscribers and another bottle when we get the 2,000 su subscribers. And the channel is growing fast Thanks to you, uh, because you are there supporting me. Uh, thank you very much for being there. 
and see you soon with the next idea bye bye